Top 20 MEP Supervisor Work Interview Questions and Answers Preparing for an MEP Supervisor Interview? These top 20 questions and answers will help you showcase your technical expertise, coordination skills, and leadership in managing complex construction projects. 1. Can you explain your experience with MEP systems in construction projects? I have over 10 years of experience managing MEP systems across residential, commercial, and industrial projects. My role involved supervising mechanical, electrical, and plumbing works, ensuring alignment with architectural and structural plans. I've led cross-functional teams, reviewed designs, coordinated installation, and handled testing and commissioning. My projects ranged from HVAC system installations to high-voltage electrical distribution and fire protection systems. I'm adept at resolving on-site challenges, maintaining safety standards, and ensuring quality compliance. My comprehensive knowledge of MEP systems enables me to manage the integration of services efficiently, ensuring smooth project execution and timely delivery within budget. Two. How do you coordinate between mechanical, electrical, and plumbing disciplines on site? Effective coordination starts with a detailed review of MEP drawings to identify any clashes or overlaps. I conduct regular coordination meetings with mechanical, electrical, and plumbing teams, ensuring alignment with the overall construction schedule. I use tools like Navisworks for clash detection and resolve issues early. Communication is key so I ensure all teams are updated on site changes or design modifications. I also liaise with consultants and architects to resolve discrepancies. My goal is seamless integration of services while avoiding rework or delays, ultimately ensuring that all MEP activities progress harmoniously and meet project requirements. Three, what steps do you take to ensure MEP work is completed within the project timeline? To stay on schedule, I begin by aligning the MEP schedule with the main project timeline. I break down the MEP scope into manageable tasks with clear deadlines and assign responsibilities to each team. Regular monitoring, daily site inspections, and weekly progress meetings help track performance. I quickly address delays, resource shortages, or design conflicts to prevent disruptions. I also coordinate closely with procurement to ensure timely delivery of materials and equipment. My proactive approach includes early testing, pre-installation reviews, and contingency planning to mitigate risks, ensuring MEP works are completed on time and in coordination with civil progress. Four, describe a challenging MEP coordination issue you faced and how you resolved it. On a high-rise project, there was a major clash between HVAC ducting and electrical cable trays in a confined ceiling area. The original design didn't account for structural beam restrictions. I immediately organized a coordination meeting with the MEP consultants and structural team. We reviewed the BIM model and proposed rerouting the cable trays to utilize a nearby service corridor. The solution was validated through updated shop drawings and implemented without project delays. This issue highlighted the importance of early clash detection and real-time communication. My quick response ensured smooth coordination and reinforced our commitment to quality and efficiency. Five, how do you ensure safety compliance in MEP installations? Safety is a top priority. I start by conducting toolbox talks and ensuring every team member understands site-specific safety protocols. I enforce the use of PPE and I ensure all installations follow local codes and standards. Before any work begins, risk assessments and method statements are reviewed and approved. I monitor ongoing activities through daily inspections, and I report and rectify unsafe practices immediately. I coordinate with the HSE department to conduct periodic audits and safety drills. My goal is zero incidents on site, and I actively foster a culture of safety awareness among all workers and subcontractors. Six, what software tools do you use for MEP planning and coordination? I use a combination of industry standard software tools for effective MEP management. AutoCAD and Revit are essential for reviewing and marking up design drawings. Navisworks is crucial for clash detection and 3D coordination among MEP trades. For scheduling and progress tracking, I use Primavera P6 or MS Project. I also utilize Excel for material tracking and daily reporting. In some projects, 
I've integrated BIM 360 for real-time collaboration and document control. These tools enhance accuracy, minimize errors, and improve communication between teams, enabling me to manage projects more efficiently and meet tight timelines with minimal rework. 7. How do you handle changes in design or specifications during construction? When changes arise, I first assess their impact on ongoing work, budget, and schedule. I coordinate with the design team to review revised drawings and issue clear instructions to site staff and subcontractors. I ensure that all variations are documented through approved change orders or variation requests. I update the construction sequence and material requirements as needed and communicate adjustments during coordination meetings. This prevents confusion and rework. I also ensure affected trades are informed and reschedule activities accordingly. My structured approach minimizes disruptions and ensures that design changes are implemented correctly, safely, and within the project framework. 8. What experience do you have with MEP system testing and commissioning? I've overseen the complete testing and commissioning process for HVAC systems, electrical panels, plumbing networks, fire alarms, and BMS integrations. My experience includes preparing test plans, coordinating with third-party agencies, and ensuring compliance with client specifications and regulatory standards. I ensure that all systems are tested for functionality, performance, and safety before handover. I review checklists, manage documentation, and conduct final walkthroughs with consultants. During commissioning, I verify calibration, system integration, and emergency response protocols. My structured commissioning approach ensures that MEP systems are fully operational, efficient, and ready for occupancy with minimum post-handover issues. 9. How do you manage subcontractors and ensure their work meets quality standards? I start by clearly defining scope, timelines, and quality expectations during kickoff meetings. I monitor progress through daily reports, site inspections, and joint quality checks. I ensure that subcontractors follow approved drawings and specifications. Any deviations are documented and rectified promptly. I conduct periodic performance reviews and escalate issues if standards aren't met. I also involve QA slash QC teams for inspections at key milestones. Regular coordination meetings help resolve conflicts and align efforts. Open communication and accountability ensure that all subcontractors remain committed to delivering high-quality work that aligns with the project's goals and client expectations. 10. What is your process for reviewing and interpreting MEP drawings and blueprints? I start by reviewing architectural and structural drawings alongside MEP shop drawings to understand space constraints and service routing. I verify if all elements align with project specifications and local codes. I look out for potential conflicts, missing dimensions, or unclear symbols and clarify them with the design team if needed. I check if the drawings reflect the latest revisions and whether they are coordinated across all trades. I annotate key sections, prepare RFIs for discrepancies, and conduct team briefings to ensure correct interpretation on site. This meticulous review prevents costly mistakes and ensures smooth MEP execution. 11. How do you handle conflicts between the civil and MEP teams? Conflicts usually arise from overlapping scopes or space constraints. I address this proactively by holding joint coordination meetings with civil and MEP teams to review drawings and site progress. When clashes occur, I identify the root cause, propose alternative solutions, and mediate based on design priorities and construction sequence. I rely on updated shop drawings and BIM tools to visually resolve issues. Documentation and timely approvals are essential so I maintain a clear record of decisions made. My focus is on fostering collaboration and preventing delays through open communication and mutual respect between all trades. 12. Can you explain the role of a shop drawing and how you verify it? Shop drawings are detailed construction level plans created by contractors based on design drawings. They include dimensions, installation details, material specifications, and coordination elements. I review shop drawings to ensure they match design intent, comply with codes, and avoid conflicts with other systems. I cross-check them against architectural and structural drawings, flag inconsistencies, and confirm that they reflect actual site conditions. 
I only approve drawings after necessary consultant review and once coordination issues are resolved. Verified shop drawings guide site installations and minimize rework, ensuring that all MEP systems are installed correctly and according to standards. 13. What are your key strategies for managing MEP project budgets? To manage budgets effectively, I begin with a detailed cost estimate and align it with the project schedule. I monitor expenses through regular cost tracking and compare them against approved BOQs. I control material usage, reduce wastage, and ensure that procurement is done at competitive prices without variations and changes are recorded and approved through proper channels to avoid cost overruns. I also conduct value engineering exercises to find cost-efficient alternatives. Regular coordination with the commercial team and suppliers helps keep the budget in check while ensuring MEP systems are delivered within financial constraints. 14. How do you stay updated on MEP codes, standards, and regulations? I stay informed by subscribing to industry publications, attending technical seminars, and participating in professional forums. I regularly review updates from organizations like ASHRAE, NFPA, NEC, and local authorities. I also collaborate with consultants and engineers who share new developments and interpretations. Continuous learning through online courses and workshops helps me stay ahead. On site, I ensure that the team understands any updates in code requirements and apply them during design review and execution. Staying updated ensures compliance, enhances safety, and supports efficient and sustainable project outcomes. 15. How do you manage material procurement for MEP systems? I start by preparing a detailed material requirement plan based on approved shop drawings and project timelines. I prioritize long lead items and coordinate closely with the procurement and planning teams to schedule deliveries. I ensure all materials meet technical specifications and quality standards by reviewing supplier submittals and conducting pre-delivery inspections. I monitor stock levels and storage conditions to prevent damage or shortages. I also manage vendor relationships to ensure timely deliveries and negotiate cost-effective pricing. By aligning procurement with project needs, I prevent delays and ensure uninterrupted MEP work on site. 16. Describe how you ensure energy efficiency and sustainability in MEP installations. Energy efficiency starts with selecting high-efficiency equipment like LED lighting, VRF HVAC systems, and low-flow plumbing fixtures. I ensure MEP systems are designed with minimal energy consumption and proper zoning. I work with the design team to integrate smart controls and automation, reducing operational energy use. I monitor installation practices to ensure correct sizing and insulation of systems to prevent losses. I also advocate for the use of renewable energy options where feasible. By applying green building practices and following LEED or equivalent standards, I contribute to sustainable, energy efficient, and environmentally responsible construction. 17. How do you verify the quality of installed MEP systems? I verify quality through continuous monitoring, inspections, and reference to approved shop drawings, specifications, and codes. I inspect each stage of installation, from material delivery to system completion, ensuring correct installation techniques and adherence to standards. I use inspection checklists and collaborate with QA slash QC teams for formal sign-offs. I also conduct functional tests, pressure tests, and electrical continuity checks to ensure systems operate as intended. Any deficiencies are logged in snag lists and rectified before final handover. This structured approach ensures the delivery of reliable, durable, and high-performing MEP systems. 18. How do you conduct site inspections for MEP works? Site inspections involve a systematic approach, starting with reviewing the day's planned activities and ensuring work aligns with approved drawings. I check material quality, workmanship, safety compliance, and the coordination of MEP services with structural elements. I use inspection checklists and log findings for reporting. If issues arise, I instruct the team on corrections and follow up to confirm rectification. I ensure that inspection records are documented and approved. Regular walkthroughs with consultants help ensure compliance with specifications. Frequent inspections reduce rework, improve quality, and help identify potential problems early. 19. 
What is your approach to team leadership and training within MEP supervision? Leadership for me means clear communication, setting expectations, and leading by example. I conduct daily briefings to outline goals, safety protocols, and progress updates. I encourage open dialogue and value input from all team members. I identify skill gaps and organize on-the-job training or workshops to upskill technicians. I also mentor junior engineers by involving them in planning and decision-making. My leadership style emphasizes teamwork, accountability, and continuous learning. By creating a motivated and knowledgeable workforce, I ensure higher efficiency, better performance, and a positive work environment on site. 20. Describe a project where your supervision significantly improved outcomes. On a hospital project, delays in MEP installations risked pushing back the overall schedule. I reorganized work sequences, introduced shift work for critical areas, and accelerated procurement. I improved communication between civil and MEP teams, ensuring proper access and timely inspections. I also initiated a fast-track commissioning plan that allowed phased handovers. My hands-on supervision, problem-solving, and coordination helped recover lost time. The project was completed on schedule and received praise for quality and functionality. My proactive leadership and planning played a key role in the project's success and client satisfaction. These top 20 MEP supervisor interview questions and answers will boost your confidence and readiness. Stay calm, be clear, and demonstrate your expertise. Best of luck with your interview.